All right, so now that we have our grid made and colored, we're gonna work on um, adding some, some sort of like focal point, colorful stripe down the uh, middle of our op artwork. And so this is one option. Um, you can make like a squiggle like this. So to, to do this rainbow, um, and you don't have to do rainbow, you could do any color combination that you wanna do. Um, I would definitely do color though, right? You don't wanna do another black and white one because it would probably just get lost pretty easily on your on top of your black and white grid. So um, if you're gonna do uh, something like what I did here, I would get another piece of paper and first draw out that squiggle. So I would start with one line. I'm gonna use a Sharpie so you guys can see it a little bit better. I would start with one line as your squiggle going from one side of the paper to the other. And it could be a wavy line, it could be a zigzag line, maybe it's a combination of a couple different types of lines. However you wanna make that look, okay? Okay, so there's one side of it, and now I'm gonna um, try to make almost the exact same line just with some space between it. Okay, so it looks like like one continuous shape. If you don't wanna make it look like that and you wanna make the other side look really different, that's fine too. Um, that This is just what I'm gonna do for, for my example. So I wanna leave enough space so that I have room in that space to create something like this rainbow grid, okay? So notice I'm making pretty much the exact same line I'm just leaving space. Between the two. Okay, so at this point, um, if I wanted to do something like this again, I basically just create another grid. Now, creating the grid and coloring it obviously takes time. And so I, I don't need it out here because I'm gonna end up cutting this part out. So I'm just really gonna focus on creating my grid inside of those two Sharpie lines. So I'm gonna go back to um, when we talked about um, vertical lines and then the horizontal lines. And they can be curved or they can be straight, however you wanna do that. And so, um, but I'm not gonna worry about out here. I'm really just focusing those um, in this area, okay? If that confuses you, then do it on the whole thing, okay? Um, so I'm gonna do some curved vertical lines. Okay, so just so you can get a better view here of my vertical lines. And now I'm gonna add the horizontal ones for my grid. All right, and then there are my horizontal ones. So it's like, I just created this like little grid over that one section. Okay. 